There's a lot of people on Pinterest who are, who can't cook. <laughs> Download <laughs> recipes all over the place. Maybe someday they can scramble an egg. I don't know. So with popularity of wedding TV shows and sites like Pinterest, there's women out there planning their weddings long before they even have a groom. So my question is, what impact does this have on marriage? And are these women invested in the wedding or the marriage? Like, what's going on well, here? I actually have a kind of a skewed perspective on this because I come from a world where you create your own reality. And so I like the idea of being ready for your wedding mm -hmm. and then thereby creating the actual event itself. So it's you can do this in any area of your life, not just the weddings, but you know, there's a lot of people on Pinterest who are who can't cook. <laughs> Download <laughs> recipes all over the place. Maybe someday they can scramble an egg, I don't know. But I like the idea of preparing intentionally, using your intent in a conscious way to attract what it is that you want into your life. And certainly planning a wedding. Now, I'm not talking about delusional Debbie. You know? <laughs> it's like, you know, going to sleep in the, in the nighty every night and getting her wedding gown on it during the day. I'm talking about somebody who really, really, really wants to find a partner, find their mate, and get married and, and ha make a family. And so I think a great way to do that is to actually use your intention, empower yourself, and co-create it by creating the event itself. But what about the original right, Debbie? Actually <laughs> Here's the thing, is I love the idea of co-creating and I love the idea of, you know, becoming the best version of your authentic self to attract the right person. I mean, I completely. I'm also coming from a cultural backdrop where there's not like a wedding day, there's like wedding week, week. wedding days of wedding. And I do feel like, you know, where your energy goes is where it flows. Right. And along those lines, I would just so much rather see people's energy flowing into one, start with yourself, becoming that person that you want to be to attract the right person, but then really putting your energy towards um, not only being that person, but getting out there and, and meeting those right people for you. And just really putting the menus aside, those tastings will be fun when the time comes. But for now, let's focus on, you know, really spending time with guys, getting to know them, not interviewing them for this role as sperm do donor or to fit into your, you know, the set, your wedding set to fit into that, you know, on the groom cake, but rather, to really um, figure out if the two of you are right for each other and he's not just fulfilling a role. I mean, I feel sometimes guys come back to me and say, you know, I felt like I was on an interview almost, like I was, you know, being evaluated. And, and I think few guys, few women want to be evaluated as the wife, the husband, the sperm donor, the mother of my kids exclusively. They want to be accepted as the individual they are. Okay. So that, with that caveat. I'm more yeah. talking about how people use oh, like vision I, boards and, and yeah. yes. to create a future. Oh, and event I got that. And I yeah. believe So there's in different that. steps Absolutely. to everything. Yeah, you know? So yes, of course, you've heard me say before that networking yeah. is key. Getting out and about yeah. in the real wide world is key. And putting your energy, like you said, putting your energy where, right. you know. But I think there's yeah. a whole culture of wedding yes. shows that's set up say, yes, a huge oh, level yeah. of expectations. Yes. Military, we have a I mean, it's, of yeah. wedding shows that glamorize the actual day, okay. which is eight hours of your life. Okay. Right. Most, Instead of the for quality most of the man that you've chosen to spend it with. And what the rest of your life is going to look like after that day, where you get to dress up like a princess and your bridegroom like a butler and you know and people running around doing your bidding and it's nothing like the rest of your life to follow and, and what <laughs> you tell us now <laughs> Too late. Oh my God. <laughs> so where? I mean, you know, where are the t where are the reality TV shows about? You know, when you go home and start the grind. They're on yep. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch those. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I think that there's something that the glamorization of you know. Absolutely. But they also have Bridezilla, so it's not all glamorous. <laughs> yeah, I think, but I think that's that appeals to some people. It does. Yeah, it does. That whole thing of I'm going to be in charge of this and event. And that's not even and what I it's about. Right. The bridezilla yeah. concept. It's awful. It's, yeah. <laughs> and going back to the conversations we were all talking about before that you need to have, I'd rather see, you know, the gazillion hours going into picking your dress, picking the menu. I'd like to see some of those hours going into getting to know, like you said, the roles you guys are gonna mutually mm -hmm. share. You know, money, like all of these topics, mm -hmm. you know, family, all these topics we're talking about. Love to see energy go towards those um, 
at that stage more so than picking the dress for the guy you're ultimately hopefully possibly going to be with if you get yourself out there and men yep. need him you know so so weddings they sound like they're a lovely thing it's one day Keep it or real. Multiple or multiple days. Oh, multiple yeah. days. Really? <laughs> <laughs> keep it multiple realistic, yeah. right? And, and keep, keep your fantasies right. in check. And Pinterest is great for a vision board, but not a vision board on crack, right? right. <laughs>